Right, well, welcome back on board. And the uh, next job is to flush out the saltwater side of this um, Volvo diesel engine. Um, high revs, under load, it is, uh, it's steaming a little bit. So I think at some point in the, the cool water side, the, the salt water side, there is some sort of blockage. So I'm gonna flush the whole thing through um, in just the hope of, uh, if nothing else, it's gonna clean that little bit. So what I need to do, um, I'm gonna run a chemical through the salt water side. So usually, water would come in um, via the, the, the drain at the bottom um, into this strainer and it would then come up and be connected to the uh, water pump at the front. So I've taken, I'm going to bypass the impeller which is in that housing there and then I'm going to, I've connected up that pipe just to a bit of old hose there which is going to be connected to a bucket with a bilge pump in it and that's going to force the chemical and fluid mixture around the engine and uh, descale it. I'm just going to keep pumping around because I'm then going to connect the um, sort of the outlet, which is over on the exhaust elbow. I'm going to connect that up into into the bucket so it forms a sort of a, a circuit going round, and that's just going to keep cleaning cleaning the uh, sort of the, the scale and the slime and anything that's in that um, salt water side of this Volvo diesel. On the right hand side of the engine, at the stern, we've got the turbo and we've got where the salt water would usually come out of the um, heat exchanger there, um, which is what the pipe I've removed, which is this one here. I've then just jubileed it onto another pipe which I had laying around. Um, I'm not sure what that came off, but it's just slightly bigger. So I've fed that pipe into it and jubilee clipped it on. Um, and that's going to come around here. And with a bit of jiggery pokery, that will reach the bucket, which will just feed back into the bucket, um, and that will just work its way around. So the next thing I need to do is just positive negative to the battery for the bilge pump, which is just through there, um, and then hopefully give it a test with some fresh water because I'm not going to waste the uh, waste the chemical um, if it's all going to leak out. So I need to test it first to make sure there's no leaks in this system. So I'll tidy these wires up a little bit. But I've got my build pump, I've got my water return, water out, and then I've just run a very small wire with some clips onto the battery. So I'll fill the back up and give her a test. Pumps on, and it's pumping around the, the engine, and there's the return there. So she checked it out, got no leaks. So I'll just put the chemical in and mix it in with there. There's, uh, mix it up two to one the chemical. Bottle number one's in. It's been running for about three or four minutes and the colour of the water, careful not to splash yourself, has gone proper chalky. So that should go orange when the pH has neutralised the, uh, the chemical itself. So that will tell you when it's it's done as much as it can do. And then I think I'll do another flush because I've got another bottle for it as well. So hopefully that will stop some of this steam out the back of the old Volvo. Well, it's been pumping away now for best part of three, four hours. And you see the colour of the water there. It's got a green tinge to it. There is lots of crust in that bucket and I'm aware that keeps it circulated around the engine. But this particular product, although green would be neutral, is going to come up an orangey colour when the um, sort of effectiveness of the product has done its, done its work. So I'm happy with what that's down so far. Keep on pumping. 